a battle for conformity against imagination, a battle for a specific way of thinking. The fundamental addictions of the 1980s is fan addiction, addiction to fantasy or mind fixing. Versus the very open way of thinking that we had when we were creating the game. What's happening to our soul? What's happening to your soul? I would not want to live like that, always mad about something. <laughs> and they want something to focus on. Children are dying out there and people are not telling. Death threats. People would write letters saying, I'm going to kill you, you're from the devil. How to cast magical spells. This is the teaching of the occult. The parents were actually saw their child summon the Dungeons and Dragons demons into his room before he killed himself. Just that fear. When my dad came in and was like, what's going on? Don't play, it's the devil's game. I remember just being absolutely terrified. If you're not careful, people are going to think you're like these people who play role-playing games. You know, you're a bad person if you do that. You're evil, and there are people who embrace that. All we were doing was dealing with fairy tales, stories. It's once upon a time. There's no dragons around here. A lot of people don't understand what, as teenagers, we went through during the Satanic Panic. I could have become angry and bitter towards the church. To have people persecuted for a game is just kind of crazy. Now, let the games begin. <laughs>